Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to do some more pushing on my Town Hall 10 account. This is episode 8 and we are at 30, almost 3400 trophies. This is awesome for just pushing with Barch. I wasn't sure if I was just going to come up to Champions League and then kind of get stuck and have to use a different army. But I've continued 200 trophies into Champion League and doing pretty well. Just Barch so far and no failed attacks. I haven't lost any attacks at all. Defense is of course a different story. Most of the people in Champions know what they're doing, and I'd say every 3 out of 4 have beaten me on defense. But then there's that 1 out of 4 that loses and gives me a bunch of cups. When people lose on defense in Champions League, it's devastating. If they're higher than me, they're going to give me a lot of cups. Um, can be as much as, as 36 I've seen recently. It can be even more than that sometimes. So let's check out an interesting defense I have. Uh, last night. One of my clanmates had an extra lava hound. They were like, hey, anybody want a lava hound? I said, sure, why not? Let's do a funny defense. You know, I didn't expect much out of it, but I was wondering how it was going to work. You know, I get attacked by basically three different armies. Barch, a lava hound wouldn't affect that. Go wipe, which it would affect. It would distract my troop, their troops. And then air attacks like this. <clears throat> and I had no idea how a lava hound would affect a balloon hound minion attack like this. So, let's see how he's doing. He's dropped two Lava Hounds in, and they got taken out really fast, uh, mostly because of those Black Seeking Air Mines I had. I placed them right around that air defense, and it works great. Now, my Lava Hound is just floating around, kind of being like, what's up, guys? Hey, just going to come chill with you, because he's not really going to hurt his troops. He doesn't do much damage, but he basically just goes and gets in their face. He's like a, you know, he's like a defender. He's like just getting up in their face, trying to block the shot. Not doing much damage, but he is blocking excellently. Setting the pick here. The heroes are not going to be able to get through him. He's going to come out a little further. And then that Archer Queen's going to be in trouble. Once that Archer Queen sees him, the Lava Hound, she's going to uh, try to attack him. And he's got a lot of health left. He's not going to do much to her, but there is that cannon right there. That cannon is a max cannon. And it's going to dump on that Archer Queen real hard. She's got her hero ability. But look at this. Once the Lava Hound dies, it splits into minions. And they all hit her as well as that cannon. Wow. Lava Hound on defense. Pretty awesome against air. It did nothing really against the air troops itself. But the cleanup. The heroes. It was perfect because at that point... The heroes are basically on their own. And that Lava Hound distracts that Archer Queen so much. And then when it blows up into the minions, she has no chance. Because she has to shoot each of those minions individually. It's going to take probably almost a second for her to shoot each of those little minion hounds. And she'll be dead by the time if, if a defense is targeting her. So I was really pleased with the results there. Let's check out some attacks I did as well. So here I am attacking someone way lower than me for not many cups, but it's all I could find. It was a base I was very comfortable with, and uh, I sort of wanted to try. I'm using a golem this time, and I wanted to see what I could do with that. So I thought this big open compartment at the bottom here would be a good spot to try it on. kind of want to get in there and see, uh, see how far I can get in this compartment. I bet there's a lot of traps and teslas in there, but uh, let's see what we can do. So the golem's down. I got some witches as well. They should help block for my heroes. So my heroes are the main damage givers here. Bard King took a lot of hits, so I used his ability, but he's still going down fast. Anyway, I got 50%. It wasn't going to be that successful. I definitely wasn't going to get the town hall that way. But it was kind of fun to use a golem. It's sort of, uh, well, actually, it didn't really change the strategy much. As I always do, I started at the top, got two sides done, then hit the corners, then hit the bottom corners, and then went to the very, very bottom with my heroes. Except this time, I put a golem in front of them. Which helped a lot on that base because he had heroes at the bottom, and they would have targeted my Barb King and killed him wicked fast. So let's try something else here as well. We're going to do something different. We're going to try for a Barch 2 star. You'll see I have two witches in my camps. In my clan castle, I have one more witch and five wizards. That's a great combo. So I got five wizards, three witches, and then a normal barch army. 
Those three witches and five wizards are going to help my heroes get into the core of this base. Because the heroes are going to be the real stars of this show. They're going to be the main damage givers. And that archer queen, if anybody gets to the town hall, it's going to be the archer queen. I'm hoping I can get her in there and have her lock onto the town hall. And then just press her ability and boom. I mean, she takes it down in like something like five shots when, uh, when she's got that ability going. So let's start up here. We got everything cleared. I've got a few barbs and archers left. I'm going to drop them to get rid of these wizard towers. Wizard towers can be pretty devastating to witches and wizards, so let's get them out of here. All right, they're gone. Let's drop everybody. Big party. Let's go. Let's get in there and rock and roll. All right, a lot of witches. They're spawning good skeletons. We got five wizards. They're all doing good. Let's start breaking some walls here. Let's drop a rage spell to get things really going. Hero split up. That's good. I want to get... 50% if nothing else Now Barb King's gonna be dumb and hit a wall, but that's okay. Archer Queen's looking all right Problem is she's under a lot of fire. All my other troops are dead She's going down so fast hit the hero ability earlier than I wanted to but she locks onto the town hall Let's see what she can do. She's coming off the ability and oh my But what I got <laughs> I got a lightning spell. Oh so clutch Thank God I had a lightning spell. I had already used two on the mortar at the top. Sometimes I only bring two. So had I not had an extra lightning spell, that wouldn't have been a barge two star. But it was a barge two star. And I'm psyched on that. That was a lot of fun. It's not something I'm going to be able to do every raid. But if I can do a couple like that a day, you know that'll improve my, uh, my trophies a lot. I mean, I'll, I'll gain twice as many on those raids so if I can do you know I hope I can find a base worth like 30 trophies and do that and get 20 cups for a bar trade that'd be incredible and beyond that I'm just uh, sniping down halls when I see him taking bases I know I can take and I am literally undefeated with barch up to 3400 trophies so far really psyched about that this has been a lot of fun and uh, really appreciate all you guys for watching I know you guys are I'm pretty psyched about this series so far, and I am too. We're going to see how far I can go. Probably going to at least go to 3,600. Uh, because that's where my personal best is currently. And, you know, maybe I can just get to get to that with Barch. And, you know, that's a record in itself for me, getting there with Barch. Because last time I did it with Go Wipe. And it's a little harder with Barch. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Drop me a like, comment about this series, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm doing a giveaway later this week, so stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know how you can enter and how you can win. Thanksgiving's coming up, so if you guys have the opportunity, definitely spend some quality time with your family. If you don't have that opportunity, at least call your mom and say, Mom, I love you. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.